Okay, so last time we talked about what geometric series are when you're interested in the sums. <coughs> this, the key here is you're interested in uh, the sums when you allow the series to be infinite, as in you allow it to go on indefinitely. The simplest one I can think of to, to kind of look at the concept here is this one that's a half, a quarter, and you just keep letting this go here, right? A 132nd, 164th, 128th, and so on. Uh, to model it, because I think it helps to think of a real model, not just looking at the numbers sort of in abstract, uh, in an abstract way. So we are going to think about this. You decide to eat a pizza like this. Uh, you eat half, and then you eat half of what's left, and then you eat half of what's left, and so on. Okay, so we need to, uh, I don't know what color, well, it doesn't matter. I'm not going to draw it to red pizza. Here's your pizza. Uh, it looks, looks round on my screen, but it doesn't look round on your screen. Uh, so there's your pizza. You, eat, you start by eating half. This is what you eat here. So that's this, right? And then you eat half of what's left. And now you have in total how much have you eaten? After the first two, you got three quarters. And then after the next term or the next piece you eat, you have in total how much have you eaten there? Seven eighths. And then you've eaten 15 sixteenths. Then you've eaten 31 30 seconds. And 63 60 fourths. And it keeps going like that, right? In theory, are we ever going to be finished the pizza? Theoretically, you will not ever be finished the pizza. I realize in reality, if we could actually do this, you'd get down to where you have two molecules of pizza left, and then you cut it in half, and you have one, and then you have to eat the last one. There's molecules of pizza, you realize. Um, but whatever, whatever in reality happens... Theoretically, you're not going to ever be done here because you're always going to have smaller and smaller numbers. 164th, 128th, you know, and so on, right? This keeps going here, 256th. But from the picture, even though that this series keeps going indefinitely, what does it appear that the sum is going to be? What does it all add up to? One, right? The sum of this, the sum of this is one. It it looks like it adds up to one because you're you're adding it up to a single, you know, a whole circle here, if you represent it with a picture like that. This series, even though this is an infinite series, okay, infinite series. Even though it's an infinite series, it has a finite sum. What does the word finite mean? <laughs> not infinite, right? <laughs> infinite means not finite, right? Finite means there's an end. I realize this is troubling, or it is, or it maybe it hasn't dawned on you yet, but something that has an infinite number of terms in it, the list is infinitely long. It goes on forever, but it has a finite sum. That's a, that's a tough concept, and actually this is kind of a cornerstone, This or thinking about this is a cornerstone for what you're going to do in calculus if you take calculus, is looking at infinite series like that and how they can possibly have a finite sum that you can put your finger on. All right? So that's situation number one. Incidentally, what was the common ratio in that situation? One half, right? There's one half. What if we change this now to where the ratio is greater than 1? So not quite sure this, if this is realistic in terms of pizza again. We eat, uh, you eat one pizza, then you eat two pizzas, then you eat four pizzas, then you eat eight, then you eat 16. I realize it's not physically possible, but if, if we kind of imagine that, are we able to come up with what that adds up to? If you let this go on forever here, is it going to add up to a finite number? 
the way the previous one did? Does it add up to, to a finite number? Here we could say it adds up to 1 because the numbers are getting less and less importance in the series. What about this? Does this have a finite sum? No, it doesn't, right? Here there is no finite sum. The sum of that is going to be, if you let it go infinitely, the sum is infinity, right? It's an infinite sum. There's no. It's called infinity because it's not finite, right? What What's true about the ratio there? What's the ratio in that situation? In this situation, what's the ratio? Two, right? The ratio is two there. There is no finite sum. Um, not sure. Actually, I am sure, but maybe you don't want to think about this. But if we're if we're keeping going with our pizza thing here, if we now make the ratio negative, you have to think about how you're going to model this. You eat one pizza. Actually, let's start with the one on the right. It's a little easier to comprehend. You eat a half a pizza, then what happens? You throw, you throw up you throw up a quarter of a pizza, then you eat a, an eighth of a pizza, then you throw up a sixteenth of a pizza, then you eat a thirty second, then you throw up a sixty fourth. Uh, if we draw a circle and try to represent this, it's harder because I'm not always adding. Oops, that's a problem, isn't it? Here's this pizza. I'm not going to draw the throwing up part, by the way. You'll be happy to know. Uh, we're going to do this. Here's the here's the starting. Well, just for reference, let's draw some things on here, like this. Uh, this is what happens. I I'm going to draw like this because we're going to go backwards. You eat half, so you have that much. Then you throw up a quarter, so you're back to there. Then you eat one eighth, so you're there. Then you throw up a sixteenth, so you're there. And then you'd go back to here, and you'd go back to there. What's going to happen eventually? You start with really big <laughs> uh, pieces, either going in or coming out. <laughs> what happens eventually here? What happens to the pieces? They get smaller. There's less and less, right? These have less and less significance as you go along here, right? These terms in the sequence are less and less significant. At se there's going to be sort of a, a line in here somewhere where you sort of end up. This one does have a finite sum. Right now it's not obvious what that is, but it looks like it's somewhere between a quarter and, uh, you know, three-eighths, somewhere in there. It does have a finite sum because the terms are less and less significant as you go on. This one is physically, even if we accept the throwing up stuff, this one is probably physically impossible here. You eat one pizza and then you throw two pizzas up, and then you eat four and you throw up eight pizzas. Is that going to have a, a finite sum? If we, graph the amount of, <laughs> if we graph the amount of pizza in your stomach at any time, you go up to one here, Somehow you manage to throw away up two, so you're down to negative one. Then you eat four, so you're up here. And then you're down here, and then you're up here, and you're down here. Is is it is it going to kind of be leveling off at a certain amount? Are you going to be? Is there a finite number that it's going to kind of level off at the way the others did? No, this one does not have a finite sum. The key here is looking at this. The key is realizing that it. It is going to have a finite sum when there's a certain thing that's true about the ratio. If you look at the ratio in each case, the ratio here was negative 2. Ratio here was negative a half. The terms have to be getting less and less significant for there to be a finite sum that exists. And this is it summarized down here if you haven't sort of thought of it for yourself. If the ratio is less than 1, if you like to, if you're okay expressing things algebraically, things do have a finite sum if the ratio is between one and negative one. Or in other words, if you are okay with using absolute value to express this, in other words, if the absolute value is less than one, or the everyday way of saying that is, 
if the number part is smaller than one. So for example, if you had a, if you had a series where the ratio was one fifth or negative two sevenths or 0.3 or something like that, it's going to have a finite sum if you allow it to be infinite. But it does not have a finite sum if the ratio is bigger than 1 or less than negative 1. In other words, absolute value is greater than 1, or if you want the everyday way of saying it, the number part is bigger than 1. So things like 5 or 2.3 or 7 quarters or negative 4, etc., this is part one, <laughs> now that I have to limit it to 11 minutes here.